the first thing you should do before you edit an image is do the white balance. What I'm looking for this white balance, by the way, uh, I'm looking for the RGB right down there. Uh, I'm looking for those numbers to be as close as possible. So I usually don't mind if there's like a one, uh, a, a full one uh, RG or B value discrepancy, meaning I'm okay with this right here um, because I have a 24.1, 23.6, and 23.8 for RGB. So if I click, you'll see my all my colors balance out based on those three values, and I'm cool with that. Uh, next thing I usually do is exposure, just to make sure it looks okay. I use Command Z a lot on my Mac in Lightroom, just because I like to see before and after. That's fun. Adding some exposure, I can I can deal with this area in a minute. And then I usually go to my cropping here and my rotation and all. Good with that. And let's see. I'm going to straighten it out just a smidge. Looks a little better. Okay. All right, so I got my white balance, my exposure, and my crop. And now I'm ready to actually move on to my Visco edits over here. Um, so let's see. Um, I, I'm someone who actually just uses my little preview window up here a lot. So I like to just scroll over and it gives me that quick preview. Um, you know, Visco Film 06 is my favorite, so I tend to hang out there most of the time. Uh, with the push pull right here, as you can see. So I'll we'll just scroll through here. This is a musician, and so I kind of want to be a little more grainy. And I'll click on a, a few of these. If I feel like you know I'm wanting 400 H plus one right now, then you know I'll click. I'll click on a few if you know sometimes I can't see the um, full details in the preview up there so you know like I said I'll use my command Z a lot and I'll just sit here and and do the little one second test where um, I think it's a good image based off you know a quick look so I know it's a good image but um, there's a difference in a good image and a good edit Really digging the 400 H plus one plus plus there, and also plus 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 here. Um, I kind of like that one. I'm gonna play around with it. So after I do that, I'm gonna go down to my film toolkit here, um, and again I just hover over my uh, tweaks, and I usually add contrast generally. I'm, I'm a natural light photographer generally, and I have I generally have a decent amount of light. So, and you know, I'll do tweaks if, if need be. I'm going to bring up black a smidge. I don't need any more grain or fade. Um, I'm, I usually either um, will add sharpen or at least see how it looks. Like I said, I'm just someone who who tries things out and spends time on each image just like this. So, you know, I just do Command Z and see if it needs it or not. You know, I don't think this image needs it. I've got his eyes pretty well in focus here. Um, you know, one of the things that uh, about Visco that I generally don't do is use their vignette. I'll actually use the, uh, the native Lightroom post-crop vignetting over here just because it does it after the crop. And that's just me. I barely need to do any because I don't want, I, I feel like this area over here is losing 
some important light. Um, so there's going to be one. And so what I'll do to kind of deal with this big highlight here is I'll actually add a uh, gradient here. And what I'll usually do is like a just a regular highlight save and do something like this maybe. And again, after I do that, um, you know, I'm going to slide these things around, see how it looks, maybe a little too much. And then um, I'm going to turn it on and off and I'm going to test to see if, if it's something that I even need to do or not. At the same time, I'm also, not only am I looking at the one-to-one um, -one image here, but I'm also looking at the preview because, you know, I post images to Instagram a lot and this is how it's going to look to someone. So um, is it a good image up here? and also a good image here. There's stuff we have to think about as, um, nowadays with our mobile photography. I'm good there. I don't want to take any blues. I mean, yeah, do green greens. Check out my green shadows here to see if I need that. I'm going to add some green shadows there, and then I'm going to go through my tones to see if I need those as well. Lately, I've been doing Fuji too. Um, for this image, you know, I don't, I don't know. Again, I'm going to do Command Z just and compare. Um, I think I'm okay with the no tone with this image. Um, there's a lot of uh, adding the green shadows back there, kind of uh, dealt with the green and, and making the greenest green. I'm okay with that. Um, if I press F, it goes full screen. And let's have a look. So there was before. Sorry. There's the wheel. Yeah. Uh, So there was before and after, you just saw it blink through. 